Hi, I'm Dr. Christine Rankin coming at you from South Metro Wellness Clinic here. It is not a bright sunny Tuesday, but once again, every Tuesday, every Tuesday morning, we will be here filming trying to maintain some normalcy. I hope everyone out there is staying safe and using precautionary measures. If you do have to stay home or if your contact with other people is limited right now, it seems like the boat that we are all in as the COVID-19 situation continues to evolve. I just wanted to follow up with everyone from last week about using common sense. And this week, we're going to talk about things that are good for your psyche. So I know this is really simple, and it might seem like it's not that big of a deal. But we do have to continue fil filming to maintain normalcy. So right. So this is my second cup of tea here this morning. And we're going to keep it pretty casual today. As you can already see, we've got some jokes in the background coming here. But this is my second cup of tea. Uh, Dave gave me this. If you can dream it, you can do it. If you can dream it, you can do it. This is a graduation mug from the year 2018 uh, this spring, which was to help celebrate. That was a rough year in business here uh, for us and many of our surrounding businesses. And we're kind of reflecting on that here as things continue to evolve. But we are drinking tea this whole week and I'm encouraging other people to try it too. Any type of thing that you can do if you are quarantined or semi-quarantined or out of work or off your original routine, it's very, very easy to do the following two things. Give up and eat too much, okay? <laughs> so it's really, really easy for people to um, just kind of sit and not stay busy or, or get discouraged or kind of start to feel down as well as overeat or overdrink. Um, I was told here that the liquor stores are going to be closing here shortly. I'm not sure exactly what day that is. We'll watch to see how that unfolds. But the benefits of drinking tea. We've got a couple things here that I wanted to share. We've got the green tea. We've got herbal blend. This is my favorite. I didn't exactly see this one coming, but the honey chai turmeric vitality, this is supporting overall quality of health. And then our chamomile over here. Drinking tea, actually, when you stop drinking other things because it's warm, because it has health and wellness properties, it's just a small thing you can do to actually make yourself feel better or feel a little bit more warm and a little bit more comfortable. Okay, I, it definitely works. I've noticed a change. I didn't think I would say that. I thought, well, all these small things to do, you know, the hand washing. Now they're talking about wearing masks and wearing gloves, and I've seen a lot of people everywhere doing that. But I thought, gosh, what is it that's actually going to make you feel good that's not going to make you feel off? And so we turned to drinking tea and then taking walks. And they have been working. They have been working. I've seen a lot of people out with little kids with their helmets and their scooters <laughs> as we're driving along. Um, because you can't shop or you shouldn't be shopping, especially if you're not working. <laughs> um, you should, you know, definitely continue to exercise. So whatever it is that you do to help make yourself stay well, maintain some kind of normalcy while you're waiting this out. A small thing like drinking tea definitely does help. Helps maintain relaxation, cuts down on anxiety. The warm feeling is very, very comforting. It also cuts down on negative thoughts. We've also been listening to some positive music, just jazz music on YouTube. So I clicked on a couple different pieces there, let the music play. Some of them were Japanese thing themed. That was this morning. It was a cherry blossom background, and it was just really, really nice um, to help maintain some kind of soothed feelings. I know there's a lot of hurt and a lot of anger and a lot of discouragement going on and we definitely want to keep that down to a minimum so things that you can do that are good for your psyche um, continuing to follow our favorite channel on youtube i've got a couple beauty bloggers that i've been following very very regularly um, we're here in the office i'm still calling and reaching out to people and wishing them well just to basically pick up the phone and chat and talk to some people and make sure that they're main maintaining their health and wellness uh, we are still open for right now, five days a week, our hours are a little bit more limited. But if you're looking to just walk in, you're absolutely welcome to walk in um, to do a, a visit. I know if you don't feel it's necessary, you're not supposed to uh, make sure that you're, you're doing necessarily what you feel comfortable with. But we still do have walk in availability for people who are in pain or just need some comfort. Uh, our doors are definitely still open for that. And anything else you can do um, to maintain some kind of normalcy, uh, make sure that you're, you know, dressing well and that you're maintaining yourself, your appearance as if you were to go to work. That definitely is a big thing. Our choir director back in high school said this, you know, people would wear their robes to the concert or wear robes to the picture taking and she would tell people dress nicely underneath your robe. It affects your psyche. It affects your performance. It affects how you feel. It affects your attitude and it affects the way you carry yourself. She says, don't wear jeans underneath your robe because you can get away with it and definitely wear nice dress shoes and look and feel the part. 
and she's absolutely 110% correct. What you're wearing and how you carry yourself has everything to do with how you're going to move forward and what your attitude will be. It's very, very easy for things to slump. So without stumbling around that issue, um, just getting right to it. Little things that you do to maintain normalcy. Reading a book. We've already talked about going for a walk or going for a jog, maintaining social distancing. One other thing I've encouraged people to do, if you're watching YouTube or you're watching the media, you're watching the news and it gets super negative, just move on. There's, there's nothing rapidly changing. If you absolutely need to find good quality information, go to your, your state website um, and, and learn what the changes are and, and basically keep up with what any announcements are there. The reality of the situation is all of our leaders included don't know what's going on. This is an evolving situation. So it's very, very easy to get discouraged with some of the negativity and the negative spin that is put on things. If it's getting carried away or you're not feeling comfortable with it, tone it down, tune it down and just focus on yourself and doing what can you do. Dave, my small business mentor uh, previously who passed last year, used to say this all the time. What can you do? What can you do right now to help combat a negative situation? This will pass. All good things must come to an end, but this type of thing, it's the same thing. It will come to an end as well. So focus on what it is that you can do right now, um, whether that's your appearance, whether that's the way you're carrying yourself, whether that's what you're doing for other people, what you're eating, what you're drinking, um, what your exercise is, what your routine is, or trying to find something fun to do. I am also here to help distract, <laughs> to distract you from some of the negativity that's going on around and just add a little bit of that positive light and give you a reminder that this too will pass and everything will change. Um, how it evolves is anyone's guess. There's there's no way to, to you know make any avid statements on that. However, just be safe, make good decisions, pay attention to what you're doing and always focus on being the very best you can be and being the very best you can be for other people. And we're hoping that that quality message will spread to those folks who absolutely need it, even if it sounds a little bit far-fetched or a little bit silly. I know, but we're all doing the very, very best we can right now. If anybody has any questions or needs any support, questions about supplements, uh, questions about Chinese herbal medicine, um, if they're feeling sick or whether it's COVID-19 or something else, uh, we do have some quality resources for vitamin supplements and other things that you can take to help maintain your health and wellness as best you possibly can. And if anything else, just put your mind at ease. So our phone number here is 952-892-5006. We're located right across the street from Costco. If you're hearing this message for the first time and you need support or needed to chat or talk about health and wellness, we're here Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. Still, those hours might become a little bit more limited as our demand has greatly drastically decreased. Uh, we do have some regular patients who haven't been seen in about a month and are asking about walk-in hours, chances are you're not going to hurt anyone or anything by just walking in um, and getting that visit to make sure that you um, either get yourself to a better place or get yourself out of pain if you absolutely have to. Um, once again, we don't like to encourage people to put off visits, but we have been told that this week and next week are going to be some very, very rough weeks as COVID peaks and hopefully starts to level off. I know that they have extended some of the shutdown of the non-essential businesses here locally. We've been getting emails about that too. So it looks like things are just still getting ramped up. They haven't quite leveled off yet. Um, here in Minnesota, the shutdown was supposed to be lifted on April 10th. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, and I have been told from other pe people in authority that I don't think that will happen as well. Um, but still, we are here as a resource just for you to do something home healthy and, and well for your psyche if you need us. We will continue to film as long as Jerry's with me, right? We will continue to film. We'll see you guys next Tuesday. If anything comes up, we feel we need to film um, additionally just to continue to put a positive message out there. We may, may do that. So stay tuned and keep looking for us. Until then, we'll see you next time.